Unit 1. Hello. Exercise 4. Page 6. A. Hi, my name's Steve, Steve Newton. Hi, I'm Jenny Smith. Nice to meet you, Jenny. Nice to meet you too. Is this your first day at school? Yes. B. Hello, Paul. How are you? Fine. And you? OK. This is my friend, Helen. Pleased to meet you, Helen. Pleased to meet you, too. C. Hi, Anne. Hi, Bill. How are you today? Not bad, thanks. Culture Corner 1 Famous sports people Exercise 2, page 16 David Beckham is from London, England. His full name is David Robert Joseph Beckham. He is a famous footballer. His hair is blonde and his eyes are blue. He was born on the 2nd of May, 1975. His mother is Sandra and his father is Ted. His wife is Victoria Adams. Their two sons are Brooklyn and Romeo. Their two dogs are Snoop and Puffy. What's your job? Exercise 3, page 22. A. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes, please. I want to see the doctor. What's your name, please? My name's Rosa Doria. How old are you? I'm 45. What's your job, Mrs. Doria? I'm a teacher. And your address, please? 35 Upland Street. Please, take a seat. Thank you. B. Excuse me, where is classroom B? Over there. 
Are you a new student? Yes, it's my first day. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. My name's Hannah. I'm Sally. Let's hurry. Sure. Thanks for your help. Unit 7. Where are you from? Exercise 3, page 24. Good morning, class. This is Mr Hammond. He's your new teacher. Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. Where are you from, Mr Hammond? I'm from Portland. Where's that? It's in the USA. Culture Corner 2 Capital Cities Exercise 2, page 32. London. London is the capital of England. It is a very big city. There are lots of things to see in London. Trafalgar Square is popular with tourists. There is a statue of Lord Nelson there and two beautiful fountains. Oxford Street is a very busy place. It is famous for its shops and restaurants. The River Thames is in the middle of London. It is 200 miles long. Tower Bridge is over the River Thames. It's next to the Tower of London. Buckingham Palace is where the Queen of England lives. It is very big and beautiful. London is a wonderful city. It is a great place for a trip. Unit 11 Welcome Exercise 3, page 38. Hello, Mrs Kane. I'm Sue. Is Rachel here? Hello, Sue. Yes, Rachel's in her bedroom. Sorry, where's that? It's next to the living room. OK, thanks. Rachel, I've got a new poster for you. Rachel, where are you? Here I am, under the bed. I can't find my little mirror. Ouch! My head! Oh, Rachel. Unit 12 My house. Exercise 3A, page 41. Hello, my name is John Brady. I'm here about the room for rent. Oh yes, come in please. Here we are. Yes, it's very nice. 
and quite big too. Here's the bed, and the desk is over there. There's a big wardrobe and an armchair in the corner. What about the bathroom? The bathroom is at the end of the hall, and the rent is a hundred euros a week with meals. That's great. When can I move in? Culture Corner Three. Famous buildings. Exercise two, page forty-eight. The White House, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington D.C., is a famous address. It is the address of the White House, the home of the President of the United States. The White House is 200 years old. It has got six floors, 132 rooms, 35 bathrooms, 28 fireplaces, and three lifts. There are paintings of presidents and antique furniture in the rooms. There is also a swimming pool, a gym, a cinema, and lots of offices inside the building. At the front of the White House, there is a portico and a small fountain with 18 acres of gardens around it. The White House is a beautiful building. It is also a museum, with 1,500,000 visitors every year. Curricular cuts three. Perfect palaces. Exercise one, page forty-nine. Penna Palace. Palazzo de Pena or Pena Palace in Sintra, Portugal, is a beautiful palace. It is high on a hill. The palace buildings are lots of different colours. The palace has got big towers and thick stone walls. Inside, there are many big rooms with lots of windows and beautiful furniture. Some of the rooms have special names, like the Indian Room and the Arab Room. Outside the palace, there is a big park with a lake and lots of trees. Unit sixteen. Working with animals. Exercise five. Page fifty-five. A. What's that music I can hear? It's from the snake charmer over there. Let's go and have a look. Oh, I don't know. I'm scared of snakes. Don't be silly. Look, the cobra is in a basket. Oh yeah. Hey, it can dance to the music. No, it can't. It can't hear the music at all. It moves when the charmer moves his hands. Really? Well, that's a silly trick. Yes, but the snake isn't in the basket now. Oh no. Let's go. B.
Hi, Jack. How's your new horse? She's great in all the noisy traffic. I can sit here and see all the people and cars on city streets. She's a perfect police horse. What's her name? Flame. Hey, Roger. Look at those men outside the market. Let's check it out. Unit seventeen. Animal magic. Exercise five B, page fifty seven. Wow! Look how high that dolphin can jump. How can it do that? It's got a big tail and a strong body. That's how. You're right. Hey, is that a fish in the trainer's mouth? Yes, it is. The dolphin jumps out of the water to get the fish. Clever, isn't it? Dolphins are very clever animals. Give me the camera. I want to take a picture. Here you are, but don't go near the pool. Why? The dolphin might think the camera is a fish. Culture Corner Four. Safari Park. Exercise Three, Page Sixty Four. Woburn Safari Park. Woburn Safari Park in Bedfordshire, England, is a very special zoo. This is because the animals walk about free. Visitors drive through the park. They can see lots of different animals. There are lions, tigers, giraffes, zebras, elephants, monkeys, camels, bears, and rhinos. Visitors can touch and feed some of the animals, such as the snakes and the elephants. After the safari drive, visitors can park their cars and walk to the Wild World Leisure Center. There, they can watch and have fun as sea lions perform tricks. Woburn Safari Park is a great place to. Exercise one, page sixty five. A mammal is an animal that drinks milk from its mother. Most mammals have got hair or fur. A bird is an animal that has feathers, two wings, and two legs. Most birds can fly. A fish is an animal that lives in the water. Most fish have fins and scales on their bodies. An insect is an animal that has three main body parts and six legs. Most insects have wings. An amphibian is an animal that lives some time in the water and some time on land. Most amphibians have smooth skin. Unit Twenty One. Day in, day out. Exercise four, page seventy one. A. No, no, no.
What do you usually do in the morning, Claire? Well, I get up at 7.30 and I have breakfast. Do you catch the bus to work? No, I don't. I always walk to work. What time do you start work? At half past eight. B. What time is it, Anne? It's nine o'clock. Oh no, I'm late for school. You don't go to school today, Mary. It's Saturday. You're right. I usually go to the park on Saturdays. Unit 22. My week. Exercise 3A, page 72. Do you usually sleep late on Sundays, Steve? No, I don't. Sometimes I get up early and go for a walk. How about you, Sue? I get up early every day in the week, so on Sundays I always stay in bed until lunchtime. You lazy thing. Culture Corner 5 Springtime in the UK. <laughs> Exercise 2, page 80. The first sign of spring in the UK is when flowers appear. There are lots of different kinds, but the most well-known ones are daffodils, snowdrops, bluebells and hellebores. Wild daffodils have delicate yellow petals. You can see them in fields. Daffodils are the national emblem of Wales. Snowdrops are white. They're one of the early spring flowers. You can see them between January and March. Bluebells are blue and they look like bells. They flower in the woods before the leaves on the trees come out. Green hellebores are rare and unusual. They have green flowers but no petals. They appear between February and April in England and Wales. They're poisonous, but we use their roots in medicines. Curricular Cuts 5 Spring Exercise 2, page 81 A I love spring. I love the spring because every day there's something new that is here to stay. Another bud opens, another bird flies, another flower grows. What a treat for my eyes. Steve
B. Spring. Spring makes the world a happy place. You see a smile on every face. Flowers come out and birds arrive. Oh, isn't it great to be alive, Pedro? C. Spring is here. Spring is here. You can smell it in the air. On the trees, leaves are green. The grass is out. Bees fly around. Anna. <music> Unit twenty six. How much is it? Exercise three, page eighty six. A. Excuse me, how much are these pineapples? They're a euro each, madam. Give me one then, please. Certainly. What else can I do for you? I'd like a kilo of green apples and a small bunch of bananas. Right, that's seven euros, please. Here you are. Thank you very much. B. Do you want brown or white bread, Andy? Let's get white. Okay. How many loaves do we want? One. Let's get some bread rolls as well. That's a good idea. Right. What else do we need to buy? Some milk and some cheese. Well, the dairy section is over there. Unit twenty-seven. What's for lunch? Exercise six A, page eighty-nine. Good evening. What can I get you? Um, I'm not ready to order yet. Can I have a minute or two? Certainly. Take your time. Can I take your order now? Yes, I think so. I'd like the vegetable soup to start with. And for the main course, a burger deluxe. Would you like anything to drink? Just a bottle of mineral water. Thank you. Culture Corner Six. Eating in England.
exercise 2B, page 96. Eating in England. Breakfast. Breakfast is between 7 and 9 a.m. A traditional English breakfast consists of eggs, bacon, sausages, fried bread, tomatoes, baked beans and a cup of coffee. Nowadays, a typical English breakfast consists of a bowl of cereal, a slice of toast, orange juice and a cup of coffee. Lunch. Lunch is between 12 and 1.30 p.m. Many children at school and adults at work have a packed lunch. This is a sandwich, a packet of crisps, some fruit and a drink. Dinner. Dinner is between 6 and 8 p.m. A typical English dinner is meat and vegetables. Most English people nowadays prefer curry. Rice and pasta are also favourite English dinner dishes. Unit 31 Are you having fun? Exercise 3, page 102. Hi, Paul. It's Mark. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Are you enjoying your holiday? Oh, yes. Cancun is a fantastic place, and the hotel is just marvellous. What's the weather like? The weather's great. It's hot and sunny. You lucky thing. It's cold and wet here in Manchester. So what are you doing? I'm just relaxing at the beach. Some people are playing volleyball and some others are sailing. So you are having a great time? Yes, it's fantastic. How about you? Oh, I'm at the office. I'm working on the computer. I'm reading some emails. Sorry to hear that. That's OK. Enjoy yourself. Thanks. Bye. Unit 32 On sale Exercise 5b, page 105. Hello, may I help you? Yes, please. I'm looking for a cotton shirt. What colour would you like? Blue, please. What size are you? I'm a medium. How about this one? Yes, it's nice. Can I try it on? Certainly. The changing rooms are over there. Thank you. How does it fit? It's just perfect. I'll take it. How much is it? 30 euros. How would you like to pay? Do you take credit cards? Yes, we do. OK, here's my visa. Thank you. Culture Corner 7 The Climate in Sydney
Exercise 2, page 112. Australian seasons are the complete opposite to those in the Northern Hemisphere. Their seasons are spring, September, November, summer, December to February, autumn, March to May, winter, June to August. Sydney never gets too hot or too cold. From December to February, it is warm, so wear a hat, a shirt or a light jacket. In the evenings, the temperature drops, so take a jacket or jumper with you. Rainfall is heavy between February and June, so you need a raincoat. Curricula Cuts 7 Snow Exercise 2A, page 113. Snow is made up of crystals. In most cases, Snow crystals form small bits of ice. Each snow crystal has six sides. No two snow crystals are exactly the same. Their shape depends on the temperature when they form. There are lots of snow crystals in snowflakes. As they fall, they can change shape. Snow is an important source of water. It gives water for streams, plants and farms. Unit 36 On Holiday Exercise 3 Page 118 Welcome to Sunshine Camping. How can I help you? Do you have space for a small tent? Certainly, sir. How long? Four nights would be perfect. How much is it? Ten euros a night. The price includes one meal a day. Do I have to pay now? No, you must pay by 12 o'clock on the day you leave. Can I pay by credit card? I'm afraid we don't accept cards, sir. Can you pay by cash or check? OK. Just one last thing. You mustn't use a campfire or barbecue to cook. One last question. Can I bring my dog Rex with me? No problem. Enjoy your stay. Thank you very much. Culture Corner 8 Art in Modern Buildings Exercise 1, page 128 A
the Guggenheim Museum. This round concrete building is a museum in New York. It looks very modern. Inside, you can see the paintings, photographs, and sculptures of 169 different artists. You can also see musical, dance, opera, and theatrical performances. B. Sydney Opera House. This building is in Australia and it is 40 years old. It looks like oyster shells. It is a huge performing arts centre. It has almost 1,000 rooms inside. They include a concert hall, an opera theatre, a drama theatre, and a playhouse, as well as studios, restaurants, and dressing rooms. Each year, it presents over 3,000 events, including ballets, concerts, musicals, and operas. Curricular Cuts 8. The Solar System. Exercise 1B, page 129. Mercury. It is closer to the sun than the other planets. It is small and rocky. Its color is gray. Venus. It is the second planet from the sun. It is almost as big as Earth. Venus is very hot and dry. It is bright yellow and white. Earth. It is the third planet. Two thirds of it is water. From space, it looks like a blue ball with land that is brown and green. It's got one moon. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet. People call it the red planet because it is covered with red rocks. It's about half as big as Earth. It's got two moons. There are huge volcanoes there. Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet. It is also larger than all the other planets. It has 16 moons. It is orange, red, yellow, brown, and white. It also has a great red spot. Saturn. It is the sixth planet. It's a giant planet. It is gold, brown, and white. It has seven rings and 19 moons. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet. The clouds that circle the planet are greenish blue. It's got 15 moons and 10 thin rings. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet. It is the same size as Uranus. It has blue clouds, dark rings, and eight moons. Pluto. Pluto is the ninth planet. It is smaller and colder than all the other planets. It is a reddish brown color and has got one moon.
Unit 41. Fame and Pride. Exercise 5, page 134. A. Wow, I like your poster. Thanks. That's Elvis Presley. He's my favourite singer. He was the king of rock and roll. Yeah, he was a great singer. He was an actor too, just like Frank. Frank? Frank who? Frank Sinatra. His songs were fantastic. Yes, they were. He wasn't as handsome as Elvis, though. I guess not. His voice was amazing, though. People still love his records. Well, I still love listening to Elvis's records. Check this out. Do you need any help with your chemistry homework? No thanks, Einstein. I can manage. Actually, Einstein wasn't a chemist. He was a physicist. OK, so I was wrong. Did you know that Einstein was a citizen of three different countries? Switzerland, Germany and America. Was he really? Yeah, he was a genius. He was great at solving problems. Hmm, my problem is that I need to finish my homework and you keep talking. Sorry. Culture Corner 9 Ancient Art Exercise 1, page 144. Cave Paintings In prehistoric times, people painted on the walls of the caves they lived in. This art is called cave or rock painting. People used colours from fruit or plants to paint. The most common colours were red, brown, orange and yellow. The oldest cave paintings are in Kimberley in Australia. Scientists think they are between 17,500 and 60,000 years old. They are called the Bradshaw paintings after Joseph Bradshaw, who found them in 1891. Most cave paintings show animals, such as horses, deer and bulls. The Bradshaw paintings are very different because they show people in fine clothes and headdresses. 
The figures often look like they are dancing. The work is just as good as modern day artists. This makes the Bradshaw paintings unique, as people didn't have any of the tools that painters have these days. Curricula Cuts 9 The History of the Alphabet Exercise 2, page 145 Long before anyone invented letters, the ancient Egyptians used little pictures and symbols to write. About 3,500 years ago, the Semites invented the alphabet. At first, they used the Egyptian way of writing, but soon they started to use 22 symbols. This was the beginning of the alphabet. The Phoenicians began to use the same alphabet but they changed the shapes of most of the symbols to make them easier to write. The Phoenicians were traders. They often travelled to Greece. The Greeks learned to use the Phoenician alphabet, but they changed it too. They invented new letters because the Greek language had sounds that Phoenicians didn't have. Just like the Greeks, the Romans took the Greek alphabet and changed it again to suit their language. Their alphabet looked like the English alphabet, but they didn't have any letters for J, U or W.